In this presentation we are going to look at model selection and what we are going to do is lo look at forward selection and backward selection using the AIC criterion. This is the Ikeike, let's just write that again, the Ikeike information criterion, that's what that stands for. And the thing about the Ikeike information criterion, the smaller of two candidate models, the, the one with the smaller um, this, yeah, there we are. This one with the, the the criterion with the smaller of two candidate models is considered better. So here we have altogether four predictor variables. Okay, and just as a remark, if there are four predictor variables, there will be two to the four possible uh, combinations. Uh, this is the idea of a power set. So, so the, here we have 16. This is the idea of a power set. How many uh, subsets are there? Possible subsets. So we actually have all 16 here. So we have the empty set where there's no predictor variables. Uh, four cases where the the response variable y is uh, is predicted by one predictor variable only. Six cases where it is the response variable is predicted by two um, predictor variables, uh, four cases where it's predicted by three predictor variables, and one case where it is predicted by four, all four. Okay. So first off, forward selection. Okay. In forward selection, we start with an empty model. Okay. And in that case, let's see where am I gone here? Yeah, let's go back here. So in forward selection, we start with an empty uh, model. Okay. So this is the empty set. Okay, and in this case, the AIC criterion is 208. I'll actually make this a little bit bigger, to, uh, easier to read, actually, just to sort of zoom it up a bit. Okay, so what we could do is see if we can put, add in one of these four. Okay, and we will only do that if adding one of these four ends up. Uh, um, and uh, giving us a lower value. In fact, they all give us lower values of AIC. But it actually, in this case, what happens is that if we add x4, that drops the that 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 results in the lowest AIC, which is 166.02. Okay. So essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to definitely have x4 in our model from now on. Okay. So what we might do now is see should we add in a second uh, predictor variable. Okay. Now in these possibles, in this case here, what we have to do is uh, x4 is already in the model, so we can only look at case uh, scenarios where x4 is already in the model. Okay. So those three are gone. So it is just this one this one and this one okay so x1 and x4 x2 and x4 and x3 and x4 okay just something that you might notice there is that x2 and x4 that actually increases the AIC back up so adding x2 to the model once we have x4 in it actually makes the model worse according to the AIC so we're going to drop that one okay makes the model worse so it is a choice between these two okay x1 and x4 and x3 and x4 okay and we're going to pick the one with the smallest AIC value and that is x1 x4 so we're going to add this add, add x1 okay to our model we've added x4 now so we are going to go to the next stage and look at these ones here these possible scenarios here. Now, x1 and x4 are in our model already. Okay. So if x1 and x4 are not one of these scenarios, we can automatically dismiss them because it can't be counted. X1 and x4 have to be in our model. So essentially, what we're it's a choice between adding x2 and x3. Okay. To what we have already, x1 and x4. Now, as again, you can see that at x1, x2, x3. Uh, sorry, x1, x3, x4. This would result in a AIC value of one five seven point five five, which is 
not better than the last case okay so let's just look at this here so if we add now th those are the uh, that's the best option there okay of adding the two adding x2 or x3 but let's just look at it here if we actually just add anything at all we're actually making the model worse okay the AIC goes back up so essentially even though it's the best of the two we're not going to take it we're going to because it doesn't improve the model so we're just going to finalize our model as x1 and x4 so using forward selection our model is x1 and x4 are essentially something like this y hat predicted by x or y predicted by x1 and x4 okay and we don't use x2 and x3 at all okay so now that is forward selection we start with a full model and add, add uh, predictor variables now we're going to do the opposite what we'll do here now is when I find my page is we will use backward selection okay so in backward selection we're going to start with the full model and work backwards so we add in all of the predictor variable or we start off with all of the predictor variables and what we're going to do is look at this uh, set of scenarios here and see which result in an improvement of the model okay so we our starting scenario is or our starting AIC is 159.55 okay so the we would improve the model if we either take out x3 so this is subtract x3 for the model or subtract x2 okay take x2 out of the model so because this actually is the lowest of the two possible the lowest AIC of the two scenarios we're going to take that one out uh, taking out x1 actually or x4 actually results in an increase of the AIC likewise taking out x1 actually increases the AIC so don't consider them at all okay so we're at uh, we've just taken out x2 okay so we have x1 x3 and x4 okay so x1 x3 x4 so now we're going to the next set and we're going to see what we can take out. We take out x1. So I'm just going to any of these up uh, that contain x2 get rid of them because x2 is gone for the model. So these no longer count. Okay. So in this case, backward selection, what we might do is see shall we take out subtract x4? We actually bring the if we subtract x4, the AIC value becomes 167. Not good. We're, so we're going to dismiss that. If we subtract x3, uh, we, our AIC value goes to 156.01. That's not so bad. And if we subtract x1, or take out x1, and just leave x3 and x4, the AIC stays, uh, becomes 164. We're not going to use that one either. So essentially, in this particular scenario, we get the, both, the same, uh, same answer for, for both. Uh, the using both forward selection and backward selection we end up with uh, choosing the model x1 and x4 okay both uh, both by forward selection and backward selection so that is model selection with the AIC and